How's it going, people? Scott, got another shoe that a lot of you guys slept on. Um, so we're going to take a look at it and see were you guys correct on sleeping on it? Or did you guys just, I, I don't know. Like So the shoe is, we're going to type it into Google also. Let me see, size, and size, A6. There we go. So, my last one up. I'll just get the sneaker. Oh, here we are. This is the size collaboration with A6. The trail. I think this is the base camp, if I'm not mistaken. Do, 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 do. Let's see, make sure. Base camp, yeah. So, yeah, let me make sure I'm gonna tell you guys the right information. They don't even, they don't even tell me if I got the right one. So, I'm gonna just go by off it and see. Hit it with it. Yeah, the vision. Yeah, the mission. All right. So. Are. Oh yeah, it's also in a pretty standard ASIC box. You got the logo, tag. I don't have to pull both shoes out because they're the same. So here you have it. The ASICs collaboration with size question mark. The ASICs gel venture seven um, mission. Hmm. So I'm trying to read about the shoe. I think a rugged outsole completes the hike. Basically, this is supposed to be like street hiking or whatever. It's a hiking shoe made for urban wear. Overall, it's different. It's loud. I like it. I like it. So, it just breaking down the entire shoe. So toe box, you got mesh for breathability. This side, you got the ASIC symbol, and so like, I don't even know, like plastered on or whatever. On top of the mesh, get to the back. You got mission on the back. The whole going with the whole base count vibe. Then you get to the other side. You got the ortholite stuff in there, so you know the shoe is pretty comfortable. You have the ASIC symbol in this very bright neon that matches the midsole. Outsole, gum bottom. Can't go wrong with the gum bottom. So it says ASICs on there. The tongue, also in mesh, has ASICs in that lime green. You got Lime green and the same color as the shoe, maroon laces. Simple shoe. Definitely a head turner to say the least because you don't see colors like maroon and lime green uh, mixed together. Try to let me go to a website real quick and just see. I want to see what's the main thing of this shoe. All right. Base camp. Get this just off the fly. Let's see, hide these. There we go. Okay. So let me read something about the shoe, why it is the way it is. All right. Do, 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 do. do, do. A hue stands out. A hue that sees more stand out uses the following gel venture set more aggressive by comparison despite being composed only of two parts. The palette features com combative pigments of bright red. I would say more of a, well, yeah, maroon is red. And the, affirm the affirmation, the lateral, well, they're talking about, obviously they're talking about the neon. Uh, Breaking up 
the entire midsole with ascenting elements and the former sitting on top of the upper. Let me read the top. Arguably synonymous with trail sneakers in general. A6 Japan, Japan's A6 continues to boast aesthetically aggressive runners with hiking enhanced modifications. Their silhouettes with the two up with the two of the latest size with the two of this latest size capsule among them lend to all sorts of color treatments with works by Vivian Westwood, Kiko, I can't pronounce that, and Kim Kiss. Chem chemist creations surely adding as a testament to the fact bringing an energy of similar level to trek up Machu Picchu the renowned overseas retailer is dishing out yet another another colorful collaboration of two distinct tastes so you see blah, blah, palettes Neutral colors with more easy going days. Stone color, that's the other one. So the other one, that's for the relaxing, whatever. And the one I have in my hand, this is for more like going over rough terrain, you know, where you got to get somewhere, you know, rocks. Um, I, I would say, you know, it definitely has the shredding to get over, you know, stuff. I want to take this in the mud because... Once you go in the mud with these, it's over with. But dry hiking, I can see it. But also, I can see, you know, rock. Obviously, I see myself rocking these in the in a urban style. Um, but yeah, not really. Too, um, you got sort of like a. I don't even want to say new buck. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't even know what material it is on the toe box right here. It's nothing plush. Again, this is one of those shoes that I can see why people might have slept on it. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but then again, I can see, I, I can see like, wow, you guys slept on this because it is a very unique color, very unique silhouette. Uh, obviously, the comfort is going to be there. Nothing really to see as far as um, inside. And so comes right out. Ooh. It feels pretty nice. Insole has so sort of like this terrain map on it. And it says mission and it, the mission thing is sold in to the insole. Well, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um I caught this on sale for like what twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars from size. Um, yeah, I, I'm not disappointed, but yeah. It's a it's a twenty dollar shoe, I, you know, and it kind of lives up to that. I thought people would just sleep on this because one is Asics and it doesn't have um, Ronnie Fi on it. So I'm I'm gonna rock these. It just it's it's kind of plain, but then again, the colors make it not plain. Like yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's like something you've probably seen before, but you haven't seen it this way. That, that's the best way to describe the shoe. You've seen this before, but you haven't seen this before. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Wish the laces were reflective. Now, that would have really set it over the top, but they probably don't make reflective laces with this color or whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to get out of here. Got the same material on the toe cap on this right here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get out of here. And I'll catch you guys later. And uh, any question about the shoe? You like it? You hate it? You already have a pair. Tell me what you think about it. If you don't, look, I caught mine. Uh, you probably still catch this on sale on size question mark dot dot uk dot com whatever. Um, am I mad for twenty dollars? No. If I would have paid the one hundred, would I have been kind of upset? Maybe. Maybe, but uh, for what the price I paid, I can't really be mad at these. Um, these are going to be a vibe in the summertime. These are definitely going to be a vibe. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get out of here. And just, you, know, you guys chop it up. You tell me what you think about these. Obviously, if you, you, uh, you click on the video, 
you're interested in this shoe and you want to see a, see how it looks in hand, I would do on feet, but I don't do on feet. And I, I would say you find it for the right price. Hell yeah, hell yeah. This is um definitely a head turner. Also, it, it's a, it's a head turner for sure. Yeah, look at the other shoe. Try it, look. So it's got on the inside, it's got the brightness on the outside. So so it's got the yeah, I don't know. I, let me see how you look on feet. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Deuce. If I can click it all. Alright, catch you guys later. Peace.